The following program is sponsored by Feed the Children. In the land of the free, children are going hungry. I have trouble sleeping because I'm afraid one of us is going to starve. Innocent victims of the economic crisis. When we run low on food, it feels scary. Middle class parents have lost their jobs. Hit me so hard right in the heart because I wasn't expecting to get laid off. Low wage work isn't enough. I should be able to make the money to buy their food, put clothes on their backs, and I do the best I can to get it done. Our children are hurting, afraid, and ashamed. Inside, I want to just, just lay down and die. All they can do is pray. Lord, help me, my mama, my sisters, my daddy, get, get some food. Dad's been late home lately because he got laid off. Well, I worked at, at Weiss Tech, which is a manufacturer of, for the automotive industry of coils and sensors uh, for Honda and Chrysler, Toyota. Uh, everything just started slowing down, just just like everything else. And you know, I was a maintenance technician there, and. Uh, Eventually, we just got letters in the mail that we we're going to be laid off. Laid off means you don't go to work anymore. Because we're going to lose medical coverage here in probably two months. And uh, you know, I have little children. You go to the doctor, and myself, I'm a type one diabetic, so it's it's going to be hard to get all the medicine and supplies that we need. When he told me about it, I said, "I'm." So Sad. This is probably one of the biggest, biggest things is uh, the disconnect notice for the electric. Uh, this and, and the mortgage are the two toughest ones to keep up. You know, you don't want to lose your house. You don't want to be out and you don't want to be homeless, especially when you have children. That makes my daddy sad. Some of the everyday fears that you have are the economy getting worse and, and uh, you not being able to put food on the table for your children. You're used to having a job and you know, providing for your family and uh, taking care of people and helping people out. You know, you always try to be there to help somebody else out. And these times are terrible. It's tough to, to ask for... to ask for the help that you need sometimes. especially when you're used to doing it for yourself. If I could say anything in the world to my daddy, I would say you're the greatest dad in the whole world. Help feed hungry children like Reagan and give hope to fathers like Greg. Just 62 cents a day, $19 a month, helps deliver family food boxes, enough to feed four hungry children every month. Our trucks are loaded and ready to go. All we need is you. Please call now. What does it mean to be a hungry child if you have nowhere to turn for help? Elijah knows. He and his siblings are being raised by their mother, who is so sick from cancer that she can't work or provide for their basic needs. So all too often, Elijah goes to bed hungry. It's hard looking at the kids, not being able to give them their needs. I don't mind me with, without, but it's kind of hard looking in your child's face. I don't have it. It's a very bad feeling. When you go hungry, you know that you're not going to be able to eat. I just even suck on my thumb sometimes. I chew on plastic or something. You can't explain it. If I could, I'd probably get very emotional about it, but I can't explain it. Elijah worries about where their next meal is coming from, and always he feels the terrible shame of poverty. With the children being in school, they're served a breakfast and a lunch. I make sure I'm the first one there, because that's when they serve a lot of food. So I try to eat as much as I can. 
when I have a lot of food, my teacher should say, why do you have all this food? How did you get it? I'm like, I don't want to tell her because I'm scared. I don't want her to know. And I, I can trust some people. Just because you can trust them don't mean you can trust them telling them stuff that, that your family hurt, though. So I just keep it to myself and I just do what I got to do. Just about every month between the 22nd or 25th and the end, we're about to down to nothing. The children do whatever they can to help earn a little extra. Do they take out trash for some of the older people close around the church? You know, make some change. They rake leaves. They fix uh, fix up bikes. They step in in their children. They they shouldn't have to. I'm the one that knows they got the burden on my shoulder, knowing that any time now she can leave me. I'm the one that's gonna have to help with the kids. I mean, that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. If I have to keep up with my little brothers, you know, I sacrifice my education to get, keep them up. For Elijah, sometimes life is too difficult to bear. I just kind of, inside, I want to just go somewhere, just lay down and die. Help a child like Elijah. Call now. For just $19 a month, you can help feed four children every month and nourish their bodies and spirits alike. It's the worst economic crisis since the Great Depression. Hit me so hard right in the heart because I wasn't expecting to get laid off. Millions of struggling families can't afford to put enough food on the table and their children are going to bed hungry right here in America. Sometimes I have nightmares that I won't get a, a, something to eat the next morning. I just even suck on my thumb sometimes. I chew on plastic or something. You can reach out in love to desperate children and give them the food they urgently need. Call Feed the Children now. You can help provide nourishing food for four children every month for just 62 cents a day, only $19 a month. How can 62 cents a day do so much good? Feed the Children has received millions of dollars worth of food and essentials from leading corporations and food suppliers. Thanks to this donated food, your monthly gift of $19 multiplies five times to ship and deliver $95 worth of food and essentials. That's enough to help feed four hungry children month after month. When we run low on food, it feels scary. Sometimes at night, I have trouble sleeping because I'm afraid one of us is going to starve. Feed the Children needs your help today to get this food to children suffering right now. Our convoys of trucks are ready to go to thousands of neighborhoods across the country. Your donations, together with local church volunteers, food pantries, and food banks, will deliver food to hundreds of thousands of struggling children and families. But we can't do it without your help. It's hard to starve and not have no food. It seems like no one really cares, and you just get frustrated, and you just want to give up. I want to just go somewhere, just lay down and die. Call now or go online. Become a Feed the Children partner. Help provide healthy meals for four hungry children every month. Your tax-deductible gifts will help deliver family food boxes packed with much-needed items like pasta and rice, canned vegetables and fruit, beef and chicken stews, beans, soup, cereal, peanut butter, evaporated milk, baby food, and fruit juices. I've never been this thankful for anything in my life. I didn't know the meaning of, I'd say thank you to people before. Now thank you goes deep. It's great, it's great, it's great, it's great, and I really appreciate it. I said I, for everybody that's involved there, I want to give you a great big fat juicy thank you. Imagine the difference you'll make for children whose parents have lost their jobs or can't make ends meet, no matter how hard they try. All it takes is $19 a month to help feed four children every month. And every dollar you give multiplies five times. Feed the Children is a four-star rated charity. Call now or search Feed the Children. No child in America should have to go to bed hungry night after night. Your call, your act of kindness can be the answer to a hungry child's prayer. Don't wait. Call the number on your screen now or search Feed the Children. 
Feed the Children joins forces with food pantries, community agencies, and caring people across America to bring help and hope to hungry families. One of our most hardworking partners is the mother and son duo of Joni and Daniel from Casey's Charities. Without Feed the Children, without people helping us, there's no way we could do what we do. Casey's Charities has been the only way to get help to people in this rural part of the country. I honestly do not think uh, all of America knows the severe poverty. Right now, Joni introduces you to one single mother in her community. Sherry's a single mother with a 10-year-old little boy, and her mother has terminal cancer. She got ill. She was diagnosed with lung cancer about a year ago. Um, I take care of her full time. I can clean up those rugs. I was going to school to become a CNA, and I was going to further my education to an RN, but with my mother the way she is, and everything, there was just no way that I could do that. So it's been really hard. I watch her go downhill every day, every day. Snow, all that snow had to go. Uh, she's a really a good mother. She reads to her little boy. She uh, does her best to stretch out for food stamps, but it never lasts long, in, you know, the whole month. I feel like if I can't provide something for my son, I fail as a parent. Sometimes she cries because we um, run out of food and we, uh, we might go to starvation. <laughs> it's really hard because your kid can't open up the refrigerator and get what he wants to eat. When we put out food, it makes me feel poor. Well, we hear is that the food stamps don't last all month. They last for about two and a half weeks. And then uh, you've got one, two, three, four, five children that are going to bed hungry at night, especially in the summertime. I don't want my son to go to bed hungry. I don't want anybody else to go to bed hungry. And the child knows that they're poor, knows that they're hungry. And I know that that scares them. Imagine how it must feel for a child to watch his mother struggle, to feel hunger and the shame of poverty every day. Please look into your heart. Pick up the phone and call now. Soaring unemployment across the nation is drawing comparisons to the Great Depression as the economic crisis sends shockwaves through communities. Nowhere is this being felt more than in Southern Ohio, where over 10,000 families were blindsided by massive job layoffs. Wilmington, Ohio is a close-knit community of hardworking families. Jobs were easy to come by until DHL laid off an entire workforce, igniting an economic crisis. 10,000 people trying to um, pay their mortgage. They're was an air park employee in one in every three households in the city of Wilmington. We have many households where the husband and wife both worked at the air park. Now think about that, you know, losing one job in a family is, is, is very tough, but losing both jobs is, you know, how devastating can that be? For 22 years it was my life and now my, it's gone. I feel like I lost my whole other family out there. Here in the city of Wilmington, the ripple effects from the layoffs by DHL are affecting every aspect of daily life. People can't go to the doctor or go to the emergency room or have surgery or whatever because they don't have insurance. People are losing their homes, about to lose their homes. People who are coming in for cancer treatment are having to choose between uh, spending money on food, spending money on gas, or spending money on the medications that can potentially save their lives. You just aren't able to pay. You don't have the money coming in. I mean, there's expenses with the kids. You got to go to the doctor, you, um, you know, clothes to put on their back, food to put on the table. People that didn't think they were going to lose their job because they'd been there so long, boom, job's gone. So where are they going to go? Every day, these families struggle with tough choices they never thought they would have to make. It was just a multitude of bills that come in every month. They, um, you know, you kind of pick and choose what you have to pay. I have to start going to the pantries and stuff like that where, you know, that's the only way I can get, you know, food on the table. 
you don't know how you're going to survive, how you're going to, you know, help your kids survive. Everybody has this look on their faces like, where do we go from here? Knowing how I'm going to support my family, how I'm going to be able to pay my bills. I could lose my house. I could lose everything. How would you react if you were in their place and needed help? You know, you see the, the unfortunate and the people that are, um, that have tough times, and you don't want to be on that side, and you work your tail end off to try to keep from that happening, and then it happens. It's a terrible thing that's happening. It affects everybody. America's struggling families need your help today. Call the toll-free number on your screen and help provide family food boxes with enough food to feed four children for just $19 a month. Tammy is, is a, a grandmother uh, who is raising four of her grandchildren. She had lost her husband. Uh, he had developed a, a cancer and had passed away. And so she was without an income because her husband had been the, the only breadwinner for the family. I had a hard time paying bills. I've had a hard time finding a job. And it's just hard to do anything because, I mean, you're still, I'm still in really hurting inside. My babies are hurt. We talked to Preston. Uh, he's the oldest of the four children. He's 10 years old, very mature for his age. And uh, he talked about his grandfather. He missed him a lot. And he, he really loved his, his granddad. And one of the things he told us about is, is how they have struggled since he's passed away. That uh, they don't have as much food. And uh, he's seen his, his grandmother uh, break down and cry. A lot and he tries would try to come and comfort her as best he could and so it's almost like Preston's become the little man of the, of the family. It made me feel sad, very sad. And my 10 year old he's he does everything he can to help me you know because Memo Memo gets upset because there's not enough to go around and he's always the one to come love on me and tell me Memo it'll be okay it'll be okay. It's hard to starve and not have no food. You can't, you can't give up. Children like Preston should not have to go hungry. Not in America. Call now. Your monthly gift of $19 will help feed four children and bring hope to hungry American families. Call Feed the Children now. You can help provide nourishing food for four children every month for just 62 cents a day, only $19 a month. Thanks to the donated food we receive, your monthly gift of $19 multiplies five times to ship and deliver $95 worth of food and essentials. Don't wait. Call the number on your screen now or search Feed the Children. cry but it's coming because we really need help this is Stephanie a single mom faced with unbearable difficulties disabled by a bulging disc in her spine she can't stand or sit for any extended period of time she's not able to work a normal job and she gets no welfare no food stamps no disability no child support. Every day is a struggle to provide for her three kids. I try not to, you know, let my kids really know everything that's going on because I don't want them to stress to where, you know, they get to school and can't do their schoolwork. So what do you what do you know about your mom's struggle? We don't ever have money or nothing. So what does that mean when you guys don't have money? We probably won't ever have nothing to eat. My heart hurts because it's hard for us to like get food and be happy.
So the best thing I know how to do is to pick up pens and scrap iron to get what my kids need. I mean, I would do anything I have to do to get what I need for my kids. I mean, it makes me feel like I'm failing my kids, but at the same time, I know my kids know I'm trying. I'm trying my best to do what I can as a parent and as a mother to them. I think the only thing that really keeps me going, because I, I have so much faith in God and I believe in God, and God gonna get me and my kids through this. I know he will. I really think he will. Man, I'm, I'm tired of struggling. You can answer the prayers of a struggling mom like Stephanie. Please call now. All it takes is $19 a month to help feed four children every month. Don't make a whole lot an hour, only make $6 an hour. And um, it's really hard to make the bills. Can you imagine trying to raise five children on minimum wage? Just $163 a week after taxes? This is the crushing burden Barbara has borne ever since she left her abusive husband. Well, it is frustrating because my mom, she like never gives up. And so you'll see her working really hard and she gets frustrated too because she works so hard and she never gets anything out of it, it seems like. I should be able to make the money to buy their food, put clothes on their backs, and I do the best I can to get it done, and it don't work. Barbara used to get food stamps, but the benefits went away when she got her low-paying job. With no car and unemployment high in her area, she's trapped in a nightmare of hunger and need. Sometimes she doesn't have enough money for food, sometimes for drinks. Sometimes when she doesn't have any money the, 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 to get toilet paper or, or, um, or food, um, like chicken nuggets and, and hot dogs and ramen noodles and um and all all those good meals you're struggling and it seems like no one really cares and you just get frustrated and you just want to give up well is that we might probably go without food long enough that we'll probably just kind of starve a little and get weak enough where we can't move a little. My mommy said that when she gets our first paycheck, she's gonna um, buy stuff that we really, really need. I pray um, to, um, to, for my mommy to get a job that she really, really likes. And I have a strong faith in God because if it hadn't been for him, I couldn't have got this far. There, I can't do this on my own, there's no way. See, when you pray, it, um, your, your prayer comes true. It's the worst economic crisis since the Great Depression. Hit me so hard right in the heart because I wasn't expecting to get laid off. Millions of struggling families can't afford to put enough food on the table, and their children are going to bed hungry, right here in America. Sometimes I have nightmares that I won't get in a, a, something to eat the next morning. I just even slip on my throat sometimes I chew on plastic or something. You can reach out in love to desperate children and give them the food they urgently need. Call Feed the Children now. You can help provide nourishing food for four children every month for just 62 cents a day, only $19 a month. How can 62 cents a day do so much good? Feed the Children has received millions of dollars worth of food and essentials from leading corporations and food suppliers. Thanks to this donated food, your monthly gift of $19 multiplies five times to ship and deliver $95 worth of food and essentials. That's enough to help feed four hungry children month after month. When we run low on food, it feels scary. Sometimes at night, I have trouble sleeping because I'm afraid one of us is gonna starve. 
Feed the Children needs your help today to get this food to children suffering right now. Our convoys of trucks are ready to go to thousands of neighborhoods across the country. Your donations, together with local church volunteers, food pantries, and food banks, will deliver food to hundreds of thousands of struggling children and families. But we can't do it without your help. It's hard to starve and not have no food. It seems like no one really cares, and you just get frustrated, and you just want to give up. I want to just go somewhere, just lay down and die. Call now or go online. Become a Feed the Children partner. Help provide healthy meals for four hungry children every month. Your tax-deductible gifts will help deliver family food boxes packed with much-needed items like pasta and rice, canned vegetables and fruit, beef and chicken stews, beans, soup, cereal, peanut butter, evaporated milk, baby food, and fruit juices. We're all Americans, we're all family, we all need to help each other. Give me food on my table for one thing and uh, take away two or three worries about where I'm going to get my next meal at. I've just recently lost my job in January and it's just me and my two kids and kind of hard on me right now. Imagine the difference you'll make for children whose parents have lost their jobs or can't make ends meet, no matter how hard they try. All it takes is $19 a month to help feed four children every month and every dollar you give multiplies five times. Feed the Children is a four-star rated charity. Call now or search Feed the Children. No child in America should have to go to bed hungry night after night. Your call, your act of kindness can be the answer to a hungry child's prayer. Don't wait. Call the number on your screen now or search Feed the Children. This friendly game of basketball is all Emma's kids have left of their old life. Life has changed dramatically in the last year. When I was working, I could come in and I could give them a little money and I could buy them mostly what they needed for school or shoes or clothes or whatever. But buying the things her children need is now impossible for Emma. Cutbacks at two different jobs forced her out of work. <sighs> oh, it's real. It is. To see my mom crying, it really is it's real for me. The situation got even worse when Emma couldn't afford to pay for her car anymore. The family lives in a small town with no public transportation. Without a car, Emma is practically out of luck when it comes to getting another job. Around here, there's not any job. You can go put applications in. I have did that. Because she needs a car and a job, and she needs a better house. Without a steady paycheck, Emma has had to cut several important things out of their budget. The first thing was natural gas for her stove. And when the hot water heater broke, she had to compromise. The family is now using a crock pot to heat water. We have to heat hot water up in a pot, and then we have to get it out of there. Then we got to put cold water in and take a bath. Another thing Emma has had to cut back on is food. It brings tears to my eyes because it's just, I feel bad. I, I really feel bad that the things that I want to do for them that I can't do. When I can't eat, it made me sad. The pain of the economy is hitting parents right in the heart. You know, parenting can't give your child what they need. That's, that's the main point. But like I said, they understand. And that should make it easier, but it don't. Not really. Like so many parents who've lost their jobs, Emma wants nothing more than to work and care for her children. All she needs is a little help until she can get back on her feet. Your monthly gift of $19 will provide food for children and restore dignity to America's jobless parents. Brittany is the mother to five beautiful children 
but her dream of having a big family took a turn for the worst almost a year ago. That's when her husband left her, at seven months pregnant, to care for their children alone. And it's been, it's been an adjustment, a very big adjustment, because I've, I've, I haven't worked. We ran our own business. We had a business together, and, and now I've, I've got a part-time job, which doesn't bring a whole lot. Adding to her struggle, the children's father is often unable to send child support. So, despite her best efforts, Brittany can't meet her children's basic needs. It's forced her to do something she's never imagined. I've had to apply for public assistance, and um, which is not something that I've, I ever did. This is not my idea of, of providing for my children on you know, someone else's dime. Just The public assistance helps this big family with a place to live, and Brittany gets a little help from food stamps. But it's not enough. My mom, she kind of like poor, and she can't get food. They have went to bed without food. It's just, you know, it's not something I like to do. I think that's probably the hardest thing is my kids being on We have to go to bed without dinner sometimes. We've been like that. And then, you know, they whine and they cry because they're hungry. And it just, it gets, it just gets hard. It breaks Brittany's heart knowing her seven-year-old is worried about when they will get their next meal. That's not the kind of life you ever want for your kids, you know. Please reach out to hardworking parents who can't provide enough food for their children. Call now and help feed four children every month for just $19 a month. We were doing well financially. Um, never, never needed for anything, if you will. We never, we never thought there would be that rainy day. But that rain came in a torrent when Bill was suddenly laid off from his job at an auto dealership. All of a sudden, 3 o'clock one afternoon, I'm walking home with no job. And uh, we had recently had our car stolen prior to that, and we were looking to purchase another car. So I was out of work, no transportation, you know, and it's, it was the hardest time of my life. Bill's wife, Susan, was confident he'd soon be back to work. We won't be out of work more than a week or two. We'll be okay. I said, we've got enough food. We can stretch it for a week or two. Well, when the week or two went by, I'm like, okay. Houston, we have a problem. As weeks turned into months with no paycheck, their middle-class lives fell apart. We lost our water because we couldn't afford to pay the bills. We lost the house through foreclosure. Unemployed and out of money, they were soon out of food. Before my dad lost his job, it was good. We would always have food, food available. Your kids come to you, Mommy, I'm hungry, Mommy, I'm hungry. And you say, I'm sorry, you're just going to have to wait till we can figure out something to do. I'm sorry. Uh, have a glass of water. Um, I just, I mean, that's all you can do. Like I said, I haven't been able to work a day since I was 15 years old. And then all of a sudden, I have nothing. Yeah, I felt like a complete failure. Without any money, they had to rely on local food pantries. For the first time in their lives, Bill and Susan had to ask for help. I'd never had that before. Never had to go somewhere, never had to walk somewhere and ask people for food, explain to them that we had no food, no electricity, that my children were hungry. We were honestly about a week from living in the woods. Much of the food that stocked this pantry came from Feed the Children, and one of the 3,300 families helped was Bill and Susan's. The food was great. I can plan my next two weeks of meals, yep. There are millions of American families like Bill's, just one paycheck away from disaster. When that paycheck stops, wouldn't you want Feed the Children to be there to help? I've never been this thankful for anything in my life. I didn't know the meaning of, I'd say thank you to people before. Now thank you goes deep. Make sure Feed the Children can continue to rush urgently needed food to out of work Americans and their families. Call that number now and make your gift to Feed the Children.
Call Feed the Children now. You can help provide nourishing food for four children every month for just 62 cents a day, only $19 a month. Thanks to the donated food we receive, your monthly gift of $19 multiplies five times to ship and deliver $95 worth of food and essentials. Don't wait. Call the number on your screen now or search Feed the Children. The New York Times has called Elkhart, Indiana, the white hot core of America's economic meltdown. Massive layoffs in the recreational vehicle and related industries have hit this area hard. And when my boss came out and had tears in his eyes, I knew it was something besides a layoff. And he came out and said, closing the doors. So 1,400 people lost their job on that day. Hit me so hard right in the heart because I wasn't expecting to get laid off. I was shocked. I was scared. I was upset. When you have kids, you know, it puts them through emotional trauma, too. It's hard to f even find a job where you make minimum wage. It's scary because I've looked for a job and have been, and nothing just seems to be coming my way. Some people not even letting you fill out an application. You know, with the RV industry gone, there's not that many jobs around. I don't know from month to month where I'm going to be financially or if I'm going to be able to keep my house or my car or how I feed my kids. Where are we going to get our groceries? Um, we got to pay the rent. You know, my son, he tries his hardest to look around this house to find something to eat. And there's nothing here. <sighs> Food's a hard thing. My unemployment's exhausted. There's no jobs out there. And I have no idea what I'm going to do from here. One week. We're a week from, we're a week from having no money. It's just hard. I don't know which way to go. Children are going hungry in hard-hit towns like Elkhart across the country. All it takes is one phone call and just $19 a month to help provide urgently needed food to families who have nowhere else to turn. Call now. I want you to listen real close to what this little girl's praying for. God, help me and my mom and my sisters and my daddy get, get some food and what we have now and help us and keep us safe. And, amen. It breaks your heart to know that this little girl is, is, is suffering. Rachel's mom, Christy, is stuck in a situation that is beyond her control. Christy's divorced and working part-time at a laundromat. Before that, she couldn't work because she couldn't afford daycare. She worries every day about how she's going to feed her three young girls. To see them go without food is torture. I can remember the worst day when I went to uh, the health department and asked them I told them that I needed more food stamps because they didn't give us enough. And <clears throat> we were hungry. And then when it was time for dinner, my mom was looking for food. Well, the food was all gone. And there was only drinks to, to only do, and that's all. A friend of ours ended up buying stuff for them so they can eat. What's really sad about Rachel and her sisters is that they are not alone. There are so many children out there that are suffering and struggling with hunger every month. Whenever we low food, well, it's really sad because you don't have any food and you have to go to a friend's house and ask them nicely. And I don't want to have to worry about them eating. I think one of the reasons why Rachel prays so much it's because she's one little girl and she's trying desperately to help her mom and the best way she knows how is to pray. Well, whenever I cry, my sisters cry too because we don't have any food. And then after we cry, we still cry and then we pray. And after we pray, we cry and then we um, have to go 
pray again. Pray that if we can have some money, we'll pray a lot. It's the worst economic crisis since the Great Depression. Hit me so hard right in the heart because I wasn't expecting to get laid off. Millions of struggling families can't afford to put enough food on the table, and their children are going to bed hungry right here in America. Sometimes I have nightmares that I won't get a, a, something to eat the next morning. I just even slip on my throat sometimes I chew on plastic or something. You can reach out in love to desperate children and give them the food they urgently need. Call Feed the Children now. You can help provide nourishing food for four children every month for just 62 cents a day, only $19 a month. How can 62 cents a day do so much good? Feed the Children has received millions of dollars worth of food and essentials from leading corporations and food suppliers. Thanks to this donated food, your monthly gift of $19 multiplies five times to ship and deliver $95 worth of food and essentials. That's enough to help feed four hungry children month after month. When we run low on food, it feels scary. Sometimes at night, I have trouble sleeping because I'm afraid one of us is going to starve. Feed the Children needs your help today to get this food to children suffering right now. Our convoys of trucks are ready to go to thousands of neighborhoods across the country. Your donations, together with local church volunteers, food pantries, and food banks, will deliver food to hundreds of thousands of struggling children and families. But we can't do it without your help. It's hard to starve and not have no food. It seems like no one really cares and you just get frustrated and you just want to give up. I want to just go somewhere, just lay down and die. Call now or go online. Become a Feed the Children partner. Help provide healthy meals for four hungry children every month. Your tax-deductible gifts will help deliver family food boxes packed with much-needed items like pasta and rice, canned vegetables and fruit, beef and chicken stews, beans, soup, cereal, peanut butter, evaporated milk, baby food, and fruit juices. It is truly neighbors, helping neighbors, feeding neighbors, clothing neighbors, and taking care of neighbors. I just recently lost my job about a month ago, so everyone needs a little help. The economy's down, there's no jobs, we have kids we have to feed. Imagine the difference you'll make for children whose parents have lost their jobs or can't make ends meet, no matter how hard they try. All it takes is $19 a month to help feed four children every month, and every dollar you give multiplies five times. Feed the Children is a four-star rated charity. Call now or search Feed the Children. No child in America should have to go to bed hungry night after night. Your call, your act of kindness can be the answer to a hungry child's prayer. Don't wait. Call the number on your screen now or search Feed the Children. Shayla and her brothers look like average American kids. But behind their playfulness is worry. It's kind of hard because we know what our mom's going through and we feel like really bad because we can't help her or anything. Because I wanted to get a job this summer so bad to help her out because like it helped a lot and I do like anything to help her. It feels like I need to step in and help. And Shayla and Diani see their mother Monica struggle. She works 40 hours a week at a local food processing plant, but she only has about $50 left over each month for food. Fish. Not fish. nearly fish. enough to fish. feed her fish. family. Fish. 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 Just imagine going to work every day, you know, and you get off work and it's like, okay, what are we gonna feed the kids today? Although Monica has applied for food stamps, she has not been approved. Like millions of low-wage workers, her full-time job isn't enough to feed her growing children. There's barely any money left over to buy food. The main problem is food. And I don't make enough money to feed all of us. This hardworking mother is doing all she can to provide for her children. 
and the thought of not being able to provide the most basic items, like a good meal, is heartbreaking. They woke up last night. Mommy, we're hungry. We need to eat something. And it was like 2 o'clock in the morning. We're hungry. Even though they ate a little bit before they went to bed, but I mean, it wasn't enough to, you know, fill them all the way up. And, and to know that your kids are hungry, it's, it's tough. It's really tough. It feels like there's, like we're starving and we're homeless. When we start running low on food, I kind of get worried and I want to do something, but I feel really bad because I can't, because I want to help out as much as I can. Like, I'm always wondering, okay, are my kids going to eat today? I'll starve first, you know, I'm worried about them three. I feel like I'm not doing my job as a mom. Like, I can't support my family. It is tragic that a hardworking mom can't provide for her children, but you can help make the difference with your gift of just $19 a month, 62 cents a day. It takes so little to do so much. Call now and give. So then when I heard my mom was getting laid off, um, I was really upset. And that kind of hurt my feelings a little bit because my mom, she, it's hard to see her cry. I work in the housekeeping profession and at a country club and we've lost some members and I was laid off last December. My mom lost her jobs. It's like we don't have enough money. We're getting phone calls from the bill collectors, you know. Right now it's been the worst. I mean, it's only so much we can do to get the bills paid. Going out to two places and also calling and people just aren't really hiring. We went to a um, unemployment office and we worked on the computer to try to help her find a job. There are times I... <laughs> I, uh, I want to provide for this family. I really do. It's, a bit, it's just hard. It's very hard. It's been quite hard and stuff trying to feed three children and then we have one on the way so it's... Well, we recently found out we had another baby and I'm just a little nervous about the new amount to feed in the family. Well, we wanted another child but at the same time we know it's not a good time but every night before I, when I go to bed I pray a lot and just lay awake and it's, long, it's quite a while before I fall asleep and my parents, they've been like really working hard for me and I, I can't do anything about it. Call Feed the Children now. You can help provide nourishing food for four children every month for just 62 cents a day, only $19 a month. Thanks to the donated food we receive, your monthly gift of $19 multiplies five times to ship and deliver $95 worth of food and essentials. Don't wait. Call the number on your screen now or search Feed the Children. My dad's been late home lately because he got laid off. Well, I worked at, at Weiss Tech, which is a manufacturer of, for the automotive industry of coils and sensors uh, for Honda and Chrysler, Toyota. Uh, everything just started slowing down, just, just like everything else. And, you know, I was a maintenance technician there. And uh, eventually we just got the letters in the mail that we were going to be laid off. Laid off me. You don't go to work anymore. Because we're going to lose medical coverage here in probably two months. And, uh, you know, I have little children. You go to the doctor, and myself, I'm a type 1 diabetic. So it's, it's going to be hard to get all the medicine and supplies that we need. When he told me about it, I said, I'm 
makes it that sad. This is probably one of the biggest, biggest things is uh, the disconnect notice for the electric. Uh, this and, and the mortgage are the two toughest ones to keep up. You know, you don't want to lose your house. You don't want to be out and you don't want to be homeless, especially when you have children. That makes my daddy sad. Some of the everyday fears that you have are the economy getting worse and, and uh, you not being able to put food on the table for your children. <clears throat> You're used to having a job and you know, providing for your family and uh, taking care of people and helping people out. And, you know, you always try to be there to help somebody else out. And these times are terrible. It's tough to, to ask for to ask for the help that you need sometimes. Especially when you're used to doing it for yourself. If I could say anything in the world to my daddy, I would say you're the greatest dad in the whole world. Help feed hungry children like Reagan and give hope to fathers like Greg. Just 62 cents a day, $19 a month, helps deliver family food boxes enough to feed four hungry children every month. Our trucks are loaded and ready to go. All we need is you. Please call now. Jeff is a blessed man, rich with love and adoration from his wife and children. He's, you know, really, he's a great dad. I don't know what I would do without him. Because he's like really my backbone. I love him. But this hardworking family man has been beaten down by the economic crisis. The unemployment in this area is severe. But uh, we're not <clears throat> we're not strangers to struggling. After a very long period of not being able to find any work, Jeff finally landed a job making eight twenty-five an hour as a janitor at a gym. It's not nearly enough to support his family of nine, but he's extremely grateful for the job. When they called me back, man, I was so happy. <sighs> but try supporting nine people on just a little over minimum wage. It's nearly impossible. And with his wife, a pharmacy technician, unable to find work, Jeff's small salary is all this family has to live on. To make matters worse, his hours are now being cut, plummeting this already poor family further into poverty and suffering. It's a place no loving father wants to see his children go. I don't tell him that we don't have the money, I just tell him not right now. Jeff isn't one to sit around waiting for a handout either. To try and compensate for his hours being trimmed back, he's been giving haircuts and mowing lawns, offering all the skills he has to anyone willing to pay. I mean, if somebody says, Jeff, I got some work, I'm gonna go get it, I'm not gonna turn it down. But this recession is no respecter of persons, a terrifying new normal preying upon so many families caught in this economic crisis is that determination and hard work are no longer guarantees against poverty and hunger. And for a proud, devoted man like Jeff, not being able to afford the basics for his family, even food on the table, is absolutely devastating. We have to have, um, <clears throat> we have to have gas, and food, and then you have to get to work. It's really hard, you know, just to be able to say, just to tell the kids, you no, know, I mean, you know, just not to be able to give and not to be able to give them what they want or just even have it to just want to eat. Hearts are breaking across America. Children are suffering because they have nothing to eat. Your gift of just $19 a month can help feed a child and restore their health and hope. So don't wait. Call now. It's the worst economic crisis since the Great Depression. Hit me so hard right in the heart because I wasn't expecting to get laid off. Millions of struggling families can't afford to put enough food on the table, and their children are going to bed hungry, right here in America. Sometimes I have nightmares that I won't get a, a, something to eat the next morning. I just 
even suck on my throat sometimes I chew on plastic or something. You can reach out in love to desperate children and give them the food they urgently need. Call Feed the Children now. You can help provide nourishing food for four children every month for just 62 cents a day, only $19 a month. How can 62 cents a day do so much good? Feed the Children has received millions of dollars worth of food and essentials from leading corporations and food suppliers. Thanks to this donated food, your monthly gift of $19 multiplies five times to ship and deliver $95 worth of food and essentials. That's enough to help feed four hungry children month after month. When we run low on food, it feels scary. Sometimes at night, I have trouble sleeping because I'm afraid one of us is going to starve. Feed the Children needs your help today to get this food to children suffering right now. Our convoys of trucks are ready to go to thousands of neighborhoods across the country. Your donations, together with local church volunteers, food pantries, and food banks, will deliver food to hundreds of thousands of struggling children and families. But we can't do it without your help. It's hard to starve and not have no food. It seems like no one really cares and you just get frustrated and you just want to give up. I want to just go somewhere, just lay down and die. Call now or go online. Become a Feed the Children partner. Help provide healthy meals for four hungry children every month. Your tax-deductible gifts will help deliver family food boxes packed with much-needed items like pasta and rice, canned vegetables and fruit, beef and chicken stews, beans, soup, cereal, peanut butter, evaporated milk, baby food, and fruit juices. We're all Americans. We're all family. We all need to help each other. And I've never been this thankful for anything in my life. I didn't know the meaning of, I'd say thank you to people before. Now thank you goes deep. I would like to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart, um, from the bottom of my children's heart. Imagine the difference you'll make for children whose parents have lost their jobs or can't make ends meet, no matter how hard they try. All it takes is $19 a month to help feed four children every month, and every dollar you give multiplies five times. Feed the Children is a four-star rated charity. Call now or search Feed the Children. No child in America should have to go to bed hungry night after night. Your call, your act of kindness can be the answer to a hungry child's prayer. Don't wait. Call the number on your screen now or search Feed the Children. The preceding program was sponsored by Feed the Children.